This one's on uh, repair of the octopus. <laughs> uh, looking at this furnace that I'm showing you, you can see it is an octopus. It looks kind of like an octopus. It's at least 100 years old. Uh, got asbestos on it. As I've said before, it's best to get rid of it. But if you are repairing it, these things usually came a couple of ways. Now this one's natural gas, and that's the only one I'm going to talk about. These, these things could be oil fired, they could be coal fired, they could be wood fired. But uh, this one here is natural gas. You can see the pipe coming down from above, and it goes to that box in front of it. That box contains a gas valve and uh, some uh, other components in there. These were very simple uh, additions. The, it's a conversion burner that's installed in there. It's made to be, you know, a conversion burner for an existing furnace. Uh, by the way, they're illegal anymore. You can't put them in anymore. Uh, they, you can't guarantee the efficiency, so you can't put them in. But if you are repairing something like this, uh, pilot outages, because it'll have a standing pilot almost certainly. You can deal with that. You can replace uh, the thermocouple if it has one. I'm showing you a picture of a thermocouple. Some of these were thermal piles. Uh, thermal pile is a uh, self-powered system where you have just a thermal, a thermal pile that uh, is the flame safety control or the sensor for the flame safety control that'll shut this thing off if the pilot goes out. But it also provides enough power to energize the gas valve uh, to fire this thing up. And they'll have a thermostat in the wall, uh, just like uh, any system, it'll be a, a thermal pile thermostat. But pretty simple, pilot's out, you can try relighting the pilot. There are instructions on the box on how to do it because it's a little more complicated with this than you might think because the burner is usually quite a ways back inside there and there's usually some way to light that burner from outside. And there will be a, a second tube going up to the pilot that you can press a button and so on. I don't really have much of this stuff available to show how it works. When I was working on these things, I mean, they got in the business in 1977, and they didn't have uh, cell phones and uh, digital cameras then, so uh, yeah, couldn't take any pictures of them. You can you can try relighting a pilot, uh, replacing a thermal couple if uh, if it has a thermal pile, if it has it. Uh, you can replace the gas valve. Uh, it's all fairly simple stuff. It'd be replacing like any gas valve. And that's about all there is to them. I don't recommend you tearing into them really deeply. And the one thing I would say to remember on these things is they're extremely simple. For most people that are working on furnaces today, the furnaces are quite complex. Uh, troubleshooting is different. You're looking for blinking codes and things like that. Uh, these things are just simple. There's not much there. Uh, some of the gas valves uh, were not so easily replaced. I'm going to show you a gas chain here. And I found a gas chain floating around out there, and I thought I'd kind of bring it in. Until it's been sitting out in the dirt forever. Uh, some of these are going to have gas chains on them, and they're replaced now with a uh, combination gas valve. We don't use any of this stuff anymore. But when you come on to these things, and maybe the gas valve has failed, you'll have to replace it with a combination gas valve. But you need to know something about these things. One, 
here's a valve on this one that's to shut it off and uh, shut off main gas. It doesn't shut off the pilot. Uh, this is a pilot tube connection. Here's a regulator. And here's your main gas valve. This is a heat operated arrangement. There's a little heater in here and a bimetal. And when the uh, thermostat calls for heat, the heater heats up and it slowly bends a bimetal up and that's that opens the gas valve. Well, that's a slow open and slow close. Now, supposedly you can get those, get replacements, uh, combination gas valves that have that, but I haven't seen all of them actually work. They don't necessarily work. Uh, but you can, if you have a problem with it uh, dropping out the pilot, that's one of the things you can do. Uh, this part of it here is a, uh, this is for the, <laughs> probably doesn't go the same gas chain, but this is the uh, pilot safety. You push this down, thermocouple fits in there, uh, push it down, light the pilot, let it back up. Supposedly the pilot will stay on uh, unless there's a problem. But the primary thing I'm talking about here is this gas valve because it is a slow opening gas valve. If you have to replace a gas valve, you really don't want to replace it with anything but a slow opening valve. If you can find one, you might work. I wouldn't guarantee it's going to work. But what these things do is if you put a fast closing valve in, when the burner shuts off, it kind of goes thump like that and it puts out the pilot. And then you got to pilot out each problem. So uh, that's, that's what you end up with there, which complicates it to where you may even not want to do this. Simple, fraught with peril <laughs> when you start repairing it, but, and kind of repairs your own risk. That's it on this one.